Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Abin Jose, an interventional radiology resident. And in this video, I'm going to tell how I came from a rank of 2101 in NEET PG to an All India rank of 5 in my NEET SS in 2023. So for this, you need three things. That is a dream, a plan, and execution. So let's start from my MBBS. So in MBBS, I used to be that student who used to read one to two months prior to my exams. And I used to clear my exams. So, and then after, once I got into internship, my plan was I will work hard and the rest of the time I'll enjoy. Because studying in between, I won't be doing justice to it and I didn't expect a great rank. So, just after internship, I gave my NEET uh, PG and I got an original rank of 36,000. And after I took a drop year and I read one whole year, I read Dance and Marrow. And after that one year, I used to read around 12 to 15 hours and I got an original rank of 2,101 that is in uh, 2020. So following that, what I did was I wanted radiology and that is because I wanted intervention radiology. So I took up DNB radiology in Manipal Hospital, Old Airport Road, Bangalore and uh, I did my DNB from there. So when it comes to DNB, the moment I joined the institute, I told everybody that I want to become an intervention radiologist and IR and that's the reason why I took up radiology. So then everybody, including the seniors and people around me were like, first you finish radiology and then you think of intervention radiology. So since the first day, you know, becoming an intervention radiologist was my silent goal. And I didn't want to do a fellowship because I felt the future will be a three-year course, that is a proper degree course, that is DM or DRMB, because the fellowship courses will be phased out. So it was my silent dream from day one to become a DM intervention radiologist. Now let's come to the most important part of the video, that is planning. So this planning uh, you have to do for the whole three years because uh, the efforts in these three years will translate into a good rank in NEET SS. So in the first six months of radiology, I would say get oriented to the department because there is some, something that is brand new when you compare to your MBBS because you're coming into a whole new world you have very little idea of. So first six months, get oriented and the only book you have to read in the first six months will be Romac. And in Romac, read the part one that will consist of uh, just read liver, biliary system, pancreas, spleen and urogenital system. So that will give you a good hold of all the uh, variety things you're going to see on ultrasound. So first six months, orientation and ultrasound. And the second half of the first year, I would say you should do x-rays and physics. Now, when it comes to x-rays, people say Felsen, but I think Felsen is a tough read. You can go with survival guide x-rays. That is a beautiful book. That's what I had read. And then when it comes to physics, you should read FARS. FARS is a very nice book, but it is too concise. So many of the concepts is not explained in detail. So whatever doubts you have in FARS, go ahead and read it in Christensen. Christensen is very vast. If you can read it well and good, but again, that's a tough read. It's a, it's a very long book. It's very difficult to remember. So stick to FARS. Whatever doubt you have, read in Christians. So now let's talk about the first half of the second year. So that time, I would want you to ideally target FRCI step one. Now FRCI step one will have two papers. That is anatomy and physics. Anatomy, you have a set of books and MCQ which you have to solve and you'll get a grasp of it. And day to day, whatever you see and report or whatever the stands you do, you're going to learn anatomy step by step. And the other one is physics. Physics, like I told you, you have to do FARS and there are some set of 4-5 MCQ books which you have to clear. And with this, you can clear the FRCI step 1. So that should be ideally in the first 6 months of your second year. In the second half of your second year, I would say you would have to pick up 3 books. So the first book would be Osborne for the Neuro Radiology. Second book would be Webb, that is for Chest Radiology. And the third book would be a Head to Toe uh, Radiology book. So that could be Granger or it could be Nubney. I personally, I have heard from many people that Granger is great, but I have not read it. What I've read is Navni. So Navni, what I did was I converted it into a PDF and I pulled images from Google and Radiopedia and made it into my own textbook. So I read Osborne, Webb and Navni. That's, these are the three books I read in radiology. So once, uh, once you have to pick up these books and you have to keep reading till the end of your third year. So then I would say the first half of your third year is when you have to target the FRCR 2A. So FRCR 2A will be all the systems of radiology and MCQ test on all the system theory part. It's not a practical, it's a theory part. So the third year, first half will be the ideal time for it. If you're not able to give it that time, at least give in the second half. But once you come to the second half of third year, you're going to have your thesis submission. You have to read for your theory, practical. So that time you're going to be busy. So I would say uh, for the theory, you're going to read all these three books I've told you. 
and once you come to the practical again you have to revise these theory things and you have to read all the rat cases and do all the aunt mini cases so this will get you uh, done with all these things now once you're done with your radiology exams that is practical you will have at least let's say 30 to 40 days to your neat ss of that year i think these uh, these 40 days will be the most crucial time because that is when people give up and they relax and they go and be okay i have worked so hard i have studied so hard i will take it easy but those 40 days are the days you have to push like crazy because that will give you the delta among the ranks of the people who will write the exam so these 40 days i want you to read around 14 to 15 hours a day and what you have to read would be the things what you have read till now just concise it so i would say again read osborn revise osborn web and navni or granger then uh, revise your physics from fars and do all the mcq books you did for step 1 physics and then step frc step 2a books you would have already done those mcq books you have to do again because that is the best books to practice the theory exam uh, that is the mcq questions uh, for the neat ss they will be very similar to the neat ss questions that is the frc 2a mcq books so you have to revise all these things again do the rat cases and also do aunt mini cases and when it comes to intervention radiology topics i would say that will be around 20% of your neat ss questions that i would say you would have to read from a book called as crack the core so crack the core is one of the books you will have to read for frc 2a so crack the core ka intervention radiology section you have to read and also there is a book called kandarpa that is a very nice book but it's difficult to finish so i would say you know at whatever chapters you are reading revise it before your exam and in these 40 40 days you push hard and you give your exam and if you have done all this i would say you will get a decent rank so that you will get a decent college to get your dm or a drnb course so once you enter your md or a dnb you are going to get a second chance now the second chance is the people who have not read in the mbbs because once you join a md or dnb everybody will be at ground zero and then you are going to read and level up so there's a second chance whatever you are read in mbbs doesn't matter much you can start new start fresh and put genuine efforts in these 3 years because the over these 3 years whatever you read and learn is going to compound in knowledge and that is going to reflect in your neat ss rank and i would say if you put genuine efforts in these 3 years you can get a great rank in your neat ss so i hope i would have um, inspired a few people because um, i have been very honest in this video so if you have any doubts uh, you can put a message on my instagram page hope you like the video thank you